Hello. Welcome to our set online. My name is Ram Kumar. I am working as associate professor in the Department of Mathematics, Dajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. I am now giving an idea about Laplace transforms. This topic is one of the module for Kerala Technological University second semester. Laplace transform of a function f of t is defined as integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into f of t dt. So, Laplace transform is defined as an integral operation 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into f of t dt. So, if you consider a function f of t and e raised to minus st is written in terms of two variables say s and t. That is if you integrate with respect to t we can treat variable s as constant. Therefore, Laplace transform operator transforms a function defined in time domain to a function in frequency domain. Usually, L of f of t is represented as a function f of s. S denotes the variable for frequency. So, Laplace transform operator L transforms a function defined in time domain to a function in frequency domain. So, to find Laplace transform, if you consider f of t equal to 1, so for f of t equal to 1, L of f of t is equal to L of 1. So, by definition, L of 1 equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into 1 dt. So, if you integrate with respect to t, this is e raised to minus st divided by minus s. So, if you apply the limit from 0 to infinity, and we know that this is e raised to minus infinity minus e raised to 0 divided by minus s. Now, here we know that e raised to minus infinity is 0 and e raised to 0 is 1. So, this is 0 minus 1 divided by minus s. Therefore, Laplace transform of 1, so we get this is minus 1 divided by minus s is 1 by s. So, the formula number 1, Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s. Now, consider another function say f of t, f of t equal to if you take Laplace transform of t, what is Laplace transform of t, L of t equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into t dt. So, here consider f of t equal to t as a first function and then integrate with respect to t, uh, t as a first function e raised to minus st as a second function. That is this becomes t into e raised to minus st divided by minus s minus. Now, derivative of t is 1 into e raised to minus t divided by minus s integral. So, it is s square and derivative of 1 is 0. So, that limit 0 to infinity. Now, substitute limit for t equal to infinite. This is e raised to minus infinite divided by minus s and infinite and e raised to 0 by s square. So, again, so we get e raised to minus infinity is 0. This is uh, minus e raised to 0, e raised to minus infinity. So, minus of minus, this is plus. So, 1 by s square. So, we get Laplace transform of 1. So, t into, so here first function is t, e raised to minus st divided by minus s. So, minus e raised to minus st integral of uh, this function minus s into minus s is uh, s square. So, if you substitute lower limit 0, this minus of minus become plus. So, that is e raised to 0 by s square 1 by s square. That is Laplace transform of t equal to 1 by s square. So, this is formula number 2 
Laplace transform of T equal to 1 by a square. Now, if you consider another function, say for example, Laplace transform of f of t equal to e raised to a t. So, we can show that this is equal to 1 divided by s minus a. So, that is formula number 3, Laplace transform of e raised to a t is 1 by s minus a. If you want, we can prove this uh, by applying this definition, that is Laplace transform of e raised to a t equal to. So, this is proof, proof we need to show that it is equal to 1 by s minus a. So, Laplace transform of e raised to a t by definition this is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into e raised to a t dt. Now, by applying laws of exponents we can write uh, this minus s t and this is a t as e raised to minus s minus a into t dt. So, that is equal to if you integrate with respect to t, this is e raised to minus of s minus a into t divided by minus of s minus a and limit is from 0 to infinity. So, that is if you apply substitute uh, upper limit infinite, this becomes e raised to minus infinity minus lower limit 0, e raised to 0 divided by minus s minus a and we get 1 divided by s minus a. So, e raised to minus infinity is 0 and e raised to 0 is 1, so we get 1 by s minus a. That is Laplace transform of e raised to a t is 1 divided by s minus a. Now, consider the function say for example, if you consider this formula Laplace transform of e raised to a t equal to 1 by s minus a. So, we can apply that formula to find Laplace transform of cos h a t because cos h a t can be written in terms of exponential function in the form e raised to a t plus e raised to minus a t divided by 2. So, Laplace transform operator is written in terms of integral of the function and we know that this integral operation is linear with respect to sum or difference of function. So, in general Laplace transform operator satisfies this linearity property. So, linearity property of Laplace transform says that when we consider Laplace transform of sum of two functions, Laplace transform of a into f of t plus b into g of t, we can write this as a into Laplace transform of f of t plus b into Laplace transform of g of t. That is if we consider f of t Laplace transform of f of t as f of s and Laplace transform of g of t equal to g of s, then we can write this result in the form Laplace transform of a into f of t plus b into g of t equal to a into f of s plus b into g of s. Therefore, Laplace transform of sum of two functions, Laplace transform of sum of two functions equal to sum of Laplace transform of two functions f of s and g of s. So, very important property. So, this property is known as linearity property. So, when we consider this linearity property here, Laplace transform of e raised to a t plus e raised to minus a t divided by 2. So, consider Laplace transform of cos h a t. So, we can write that in the form L of e raised to a t plus e raised to minus a t divided by 2. So, here 1 by 2 is constant. So, we can take that outside that operator according to linearity property this is 1 by 2 times Laplace transform of e raised to a t plus Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t. So, that is equal to 1 by 2 into what is Laplace transform of e raised to a t that is 1 by s minus a according to formula number 3 it is 1 by s minus a. So, this is 1 by s minus a plus and if you replace a by minus a what is Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t it is 1 divided by s minus minus a so s plus a. So, 1 by s plus a 
now we can take the LCM. So LCM is a square minus a square and numerator become s plus a plus s minus a. So that is 1 by 2 into if you add this is 2s divided by s square minus s square and cancel to s by s square minus s square. So Laplace transform of cos h a t where cos h a t represent the hyperbolic function h d not hyperbolic function hyperbolic cosine function so Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine function is s by s square minus s square. So similarly we can write sin h a t as L of sin h a t hyperbolic sine function in the form L of e raised to a t minus e raised to minus a t divided by 2 because sin h a t can be written as e raised to a t minus e raised to minus a t divided by 2. Hence according to this formula L of e raised to a t equal to 1 by s minus a and by applying linearity property we get uh, L of sin h a t equal to a divided by s square minus s square. So this is formula number 4 Laplace transform of cos h a t equal to Laplace transform of cos h a t equal to s divided by s square minus a square and Laplace transform of sin h a t Laplace transform of sin h a t equal to a by a square minus a square. So this is formula number 5. Now similarly if you apply the same property again we get uh, Laplace transform of cos a t which is trigonometric cosine function cos a t equal to s by a square plus a square and Laplace transform of sin a t equal to a by a square plus a square. So this is formula number 6, this is formula number 7. Now consider the result, it is very important theorem known as first shifting theorem, first shifting theorem. So it states that if Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s, then Laplace transform of e raised to a t multiplied by f of t equal to f of s minus a. That is when we consider f of t and its Laplace transform, suppose that Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, then to find Laplace transform of that function multiplied by e raised to a t just replace s by s minus a. So we get Laplace transform of e raised to a t into f of t as f of s minus a. So this is known as first shifting theorem. So it is very useful to find Laplace transform of a function multiplied by an exponential function. For example, if you consider this Laplace transform of sin a t multiplied by e raised to a t. What is that? Laplace transform of e raised to a t into sin a t. That is according to this formula, if we consider Laplace transform of sin a t as f of s, then Laplace transform of e raised to a t into sin a t is obtained by replacing s by s minus a. So here in this example, in this case, replace the second constant by b. So instead of a, I am substituting in as b. So e raised to a t into sin b t become b divided by s square in the place of s, replace it by s minus a, s minus a whole square plus b square. And Laplace transform of e raised to a t into cos b t equal to cos b t here we have that formula L of cos b t is s by s square plus b square. So multiply by e raised to a t. So look at this formula, replace s by s minus a 
So, divided by s minus a whole square plus b square. And similarly, we can write the other formula like Laplace transform of e raised to a t into cos h a t cos h b t that is equal to s minus a divided by s minus a whole square minus b square and Laplace transform of e raised to a t into sin h b t equal to for hyperbolic sign it is a divided by that is b by s minus a whole square minus b square minus b square or the in general if you apply first shifting theorem. So, we get a Laplace transform of function multiplied by a given function f of t provided Laplace transform of that function f of t exists. And one more formula we have Laplace transform of t raised to n. So, that is n factorial divided by s raised to n plus 1 because if you substitute n equal to 1 Laplace transform of t equal to 1 by s square it is 1 divided by s square. And if you consider Laplace transform of e raised to a t into t function multiplied by e raised to a t. So, replace s by s minus a 1 by s minus a whole square. So, in this way we can calculate Laplace transform of product of function one function with the other function as the exponential function. In next class we will discuss about inverse Laplace transform. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.